Good morning, welcome to Nifty Prediction. My name is Narendra. To join my WhatsApp group, I'm charging thousand rupees per month. You'll get advanced prediction details as well as calls in the group. This video is only for educational learning purpose. If you want to buy anything, you can consult with your financial planners before buying. Let's go to the today's prediction. Our data is showing kind of a bullish indications, but still uh, we have volatile as well. So. Um, the three indications are showing bit bullish and uh, the records are there 8 is to 3 so out of uh, 11 times 8 times the market has ended up in the positive three times only closed in the negative and this is the one data which indicates the volatile indication which means market is still in the volatile zone but uh, it might turn out to be a bullish or bullish according to the levels it, uh, it has been breaking so the key levels the basic rules which we are following these two levels volatile levels are very important levels anything below if the market is trading it is trying to uh, go towards the bearish zone because this is a level anything below trading this level it is in the bearish zone anything above this trading level which is in the bullish zone uh, so anything breaks that level only the market is strong bullish zone until that in between if the market is trading it is in the volatile zone so you must have to know this basic rule because any data any day any given day these are all the basic rules which we are following so anything trading below 17 425 plus 10 points so uh, 17 435 because the stop loss level we are adding uh, 10 points on every data so anything trading below this level it is a in the bearish zone so we can keep stop loss in this particular level for the bearish trade so yeah 35 up to 35 level anything trading above uh, 17 5 11 because subtracting 10 points is for the bullish zone so anything uh, 17 5 11.06 this is in the bullish zone so anything trading above the market will go to bullish zone but if the market is pre-opening is in that particular uh, level and then it is in the volatile zone so how we need to trade according to these basic rules these are also basic rules because if the market is not able to break this particular level the market will fall down towards the bearish side this is the one kind of rule the volatile zone average level not here but here 17,547 plus 10 points you need to add for the stop loss. So this is for the bearish trend. So 17,557.13 is the level which we need to watch out if this particular 557.13 is not able to break means we can go for a sell market trying to go down if this particular key level is not able to break the high on the other hand um, this pivot level also also sometimes we can keep the stop loss level 17,507 and 17,514 those levels also anything below that level market will always try to go down so that is one kind of an indication extreme bearish zone this overall average which we are uh, tracking this overall average is for the extreme zone if this key level this is the very much key level if the market is trading below it it has a potential to go extremely bearish uh, which means the high will be below this particular level 17 5 10 and likewise the same the low will be 17490 so if those key levels are there the high is uh, high 17510 if the high is keeping like this means market having the chance to go extremely bearish likewise the same um, subtracting 10 points so the same level 17490 if the low is not breaking this particular level means it is still extremely bullish is possible but as per today's uh, we we are having three bearish warning signal so we need to play with the hedging method once again because 
is not going to be easy because the data is very much bullish but at the same time three warning signals also there so only the difference is we are having the positive average is much higher comparing with the negative average 191 points in the positive average but comparing with the negative side which is showing uh, 53 points so it can go up to 101 anything below that level we can't able to uh, say that uh, low because it, it is open wide open once if it is breaking around 17 to 80 level then it has a potential to go down heavily but at the same time yesterday we had a downside target in hand this particular target we are having downside target yesterday it has opened so that uh, you must have to play cautiously because because market might open in the gap uh, somewhere 30 40 50 points but still it has potential to fall down because this particular target is already opened so market having the chances to fall down towards to 17.8391 so you must keep one small put option like hero zero in hand for this week let's see how the market is going to give us so on friday um, i'll show you uh, the potential anything market is trading below uh, 200 or something which shows the market will always try to come down that is what it is indicating but this particular level is what we need to watch out because it is it has opened yesterday due to that uh, panic selling happened so this particular target we are focusing on but hedging method will be advisable to go for today let's see how the market is going to give us on friday thank you